What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video we're going to be playing Top Ladder again using this RG deck. So as I've said, or I th believe I said a couple weeks ago, this is what I'm planning on using, you know, as my main ladder deck for this season. So that's why I've made a lot of videos on it. You know, as I said before, it's finished second in the world last season, so it's really, really solid. And if you don't have the Archer Queen, yeah, you can use the Mega Minion or the E-Wiz instead, but I think Mega Minion is a better option since you already have Electro Spirit and Lightning, and then... Yeah, not much inside of this deck is getting nerfed. If you guys saw the next balance changes, Log is getting a small nerf and Ghost is getting a nerf, but I think Dark Prince could actually be used instead of the Ghost as a pretty solid substitute, or you could even use Skeletons because some people like using RG Cycle with Skeletons anyway. So before you head in the first game, if you guys would like to support me, use my credit code BOSS in any Supercell game. Really do appreciate that from you guys. So right now we're currently 148th in the world. Let's go ahead and search for the first game and I'll see you guys when I find it. All right, here we go, guys. We found our first match and also sorry for not uploading the last three days. Some of you guys might've been wondering, you know, why I went that long without uploading because typically I don't. Um, actually, to be honest, I just wanted to take like a short break from the game um i rarely do i if you guys didn't know i play this game pretty much every single day it's been a very very long time since i've gone you know even just a couple days without playing so i kind of decided to do that just to you know take a break and i think it's you know sometimes good to do that because then you know you kind of refresh yourself when you come back to it it's probably a little bit more you know enjoyable if that makes sense um, anyway, he's gonna go... Okay, so interesting deck here. I'm actually a little confused what this is. I was thinking it might be lava, but because he has bats, I don't know what kind of a lava deck this would be. Maybe it's like a lava cycle. It could also just be, you know, similar to, if you guys know what the Pompeo deck is, the deck that has Goblin Cage, Ice Golem... And he's already shown that he... Okay, Mighty Miner. So yeah, I, I really don't know what kind of variation this um this deck is that we're up against. I guess we'll find out. Just Cycle Queen into the Mighty Miner. Um, okay, maybe I use my ability here. Uh, yeah, I definitely will because he just Fireballed. So we're going to go Fisherman here. That was a good Miner. He distracted our Fisherman. So we had to use an Electro Spirit, but we still defended that pretty easily. No real problem there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cycle my Log. I can't really RG because even though his Mighty Miner's out of cycle, he has his Inferno Dragon. And this is very odd. I just realized he has, for whatever reason, he has Mighty Miner and Inferno Dragon in the same deck. And they're literally the same. I feel like the purpose of the card is the same for, for both of them. Um, so that's really interesting. A uh, really nice fireball on his end. He actually clipped the Electro Spirit too. So I didn't end up resetting the Inferno Drag. But, you know, we still got a little bit of damage, so I'm fine with that. Um, I'm gonna go Hunter here. We just need to make sure we can get back to a Queen for his Balloon, which he probably wants to drop. I'm gonna log this. Yeah, we'll go Queen, played in the right lane though, because he's probably tempted to go for a Balloon or something. I'm gonna RG here. Oh wow, he actually went for the Balloon in the left. I was not expecting that. This might actually be GG, because I don't know if, um, oh, we don't reset the Inferno Drag, so not gonna be GG. But really solid amount of damage. Um, maybe I can go for an RG here. Oh wow, he actually predicted the RG with his, his, uh, Mighty Miner. I think I'm going to go ahead and Ghost, and he's probably going to go Inferno Drag. I don't know if he's going to predict it, but I'm going to try to trick him. We're going to go for it in this lane, because he was probably expecting it to be in the right lane. Um, unfortunately, though, he waited, so that was a good play on his part, but we still get some really solid damage, and I think at this point, we just need to play defense, and we should be able to get the win. I think this is, as you can tell, it's been quite an easy matchup, because... Uh, even though he has two pretty decent counters to our RG, I have the Electro Spirit as a really solid reset to the Inferno Drag, and then also the Mighty Miner, even though it's decent, it can be pulled by the Fisherman, so we weren't, yeah, we didn't have too much trouble, so yeah, that was actually really easy, he was hardly even able to play his Balloon to pressure, that just showed you how difficult the defense was for him, so we get plus 31, let's see where that puts us, that's gonna put us 114th in the world, so that is pretty solid maybe we can make it to 7800 this video let's see i think i'm on a little bit of a win streak right now i'll check how many we got in a row plus 50 so we got 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, nice. Five wins in a row. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the uh, second game. Okay, so we found our next game here against Valeria. Go ahead and give him the good luck. And I'm pretty sure that this is a Golem player. I don't know what variation he's using, but the last couple of times I played against him, he's had Golem. So let's see what he's going to do. He's going to go Bomber. So we'll just cycle Electro Spirit. And then I guess I'll go Queen. Just because we have the Ghost up and I don't really want to... Okay, interesting. He's going to already cycle his mini P.E.K.K.A. Which is a little... Okay, so... Definitely going to RG here because he, his mini P.E.K.K.A. is out of cycle. I'm going to hover Log in case he has a... Um, skeleton army, but it looks like he might just ignore the entirety of the... RG and just go all in. So we probably need to just log the Skarmie and then Fisherman the Golem to the King Tower. And I think this should be some pretty easy defense unless something gets screwed up here. Well, I shouldn't say really easy because, I mean, we did lose, like, you know, a good chunk of our tower. But still, you know, an incredible start to the game. Um, anything can happen, but I'm really liking the start. And typically, Golem isn't too much of an issue, especially if they're using Golem without lightning. And in his case... He has arrows, so it makes me think he's probably... Okay, wow, now his uh, other tower's in lightning range. So yeah, this is going very well. Um, I think instead of playing RG in the left, I'm just going to defend. We have the king activation, so it should be pretty easy to do, at least I'd assume. Um, we're probably just going to go ahead and go for like a high fisherman like this, and then we're going to go for a hunter. Uh, that was a bad mini P.E.K.K.A. I think he was trying to distract the Fisherman, but he ended up playing it late. So that was kind of like a small mistake on his end. But I think even if he did end up distracting it, it probably wouldn't have been like a huge deal. So we can RG because his mini P.E.K.K.A. is out of cycle. We have Log ready for... Okay, I'm going to actually... Okay, that was actually a good Skarmie. He probably knew I was going to Lightning that, so he kind of like predicted it in a way. So I'm going to Ghost because he has to defend this, otherwise he's going to lose his tower. And he has to defend it with a mini... Yeah, because he didn't have his um, Skarmie in rotation. So that was perfect. I guess we can just go for a Queen here. Um, and then probably go Hunter. Just have to defend this and then we're pretty much good. So we'll try to do that. I'm going to go Fisherman here. Gonna log this side, even though there's some uh, Skarmy on the other side, I would rather take care of that. Okay, that's- Oh, he just early BM'd, potentially. <laughs> you see the angry face, okay. Yeah, um, okay, wow. So, potentially early BM from him. Uh, it's not over yet, though. We'll see what happens, but that was so funny. Wasn't that? Wow. Alright, let's focus up. Game's not over. Let's not get too excited. But, if we win, we will probably BM him. Um, just as a fair warning. <laughs> I guess we can RG. He kinda has to... You know, empty like his whole elixir bar on it. I knew he was gonna golem like that. I think we got it, because... We can just go pre-log on the Skarmie. And then let our emotes rip. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny. <laughs> I'm not usually that toxic, but that was hilarious. He didn't think we would get the lightning down in time. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was like instant karma. Um, definitely a good matchup for me, so good effort on his end, but man, I have to BM him after that. I'm sorry. Alright, 107th in the world, so one more win would put me at 7,800 and uh, also in the top 100. So yeah, let's get into it. That was an amazing game.
All right, guys, so we found our next game against Angel. I still can't believe that that last game just happened. That was a great one. Um, wait, what just happened? Uh. What? Okay, this guy just gave me a free win. I don't know who he is, but thanks. Um... On in the next game. I don't know if I'm going to cut this out or maybe I won't just to show my ranking, but uh, whoever this guy is, thanks. Did he queue in with the wrong deck? I mean, he's higher up than I am. So this is like, you know, I don't think he's on a tilt or anything. Okay, we just got 31 trophies for... Oh no! He went in with the wrong deck! Oh no! What has this video been? <laughs> that crazy game against Golem. And then... <laughs> where he, you know, BM'd and then he instantly regretted it. And this guy queues in with the wrong deck. Hey, I'm not complaining. That's like a 1 in, you know, 500 chance at the top of ladder. That almost never happens. Jeez, man. We're 77th right now. Um, don't know if it's deserved or not, but, you know, I'll take it. I mean, it was his fault, I guess. So, great. Um, yeah, 77th. We're on a pretty big win streak right now. Um, yeah, let's go. I kind of messed my hair up, but all good. <laughs> I'm just in shock. Alright, next up here, we're against Polar Bear. Go ahead and give him the good luck. And, uh, I guess we can just start with an Electro Spirit in the back and see what he wants to do from there. You just gonna go Fire Spirit. So there's a few different decks that have Fire Spirit. Typically, it is Cycle, but, um, okay, yeah, Miner. So, good chance it's Mortar. Just because I don't really know of... Okay, so probably go Queen here, high up. And then use the ability. Ours should win unless he distracts it with, like, Skellies or something. He doesn't. Okay. Yeah, he just saves his Skeletons for that. So we can actually go RG at the bridge because his Queen is out of cycle. And Queen is the highest DPS for the, um, for the RG. I won't lightning that though, because I think that would be too aggressive, and he still had to overcommit on top of it by going for a mortar as well as a Valkyrie. So we're just gonna go for. Oh, okay. I think he thought I was gonna go for a king activation on the Valkyrie. That's why he did that. Like he thought I was gonna play the fisherman there and get the king activated. I wasn't going to though. We can maybe go for like a prediction log here. Yeah, I knew he was gonna drop skeletons because that was his only. Solid answer. So as a result, we get one shot. So that was a pretty good play there. I could RG at the bridge again, but this time around he has his queen in cycle. But I was thinking about it because he wouldn't have enough elixir to play a queen and a mortar right when I was at six. But I think it's better just not to. Um, there's no need to be too aggressive. And this was great. We just get a free fisherman here on this miner. And then I think we can just go for an RG in the back because... Um, we're in double, and, I, and if he mortars in the other lane for whatever reason, I could just queen, but he wouldn't do that anyway, because I don't think that's even that good of a play. So we can actually ghost in the opposite lane of where he dropped his, um, Valkyrie, because if we just play it into the Valk, it's not really gonna accomplish anything, obviously, it's just gonna die, so. Alright, so those are just both gonna die here probably we can actually rg in this lane and then get like a double rg situation going that would be good Ooh, i'm tempted to lightning mortar i don't know if i should but it certainly was tempting maybe i should have 
Um, I will activate my queen ability here, though. Gonna log this. Hopefully our fisherman... Uh, okay. That was a good mortar on his end, actually. A pretty solid mortar. Maybe RG this lane, opposite of the queen. He mortars, but it's in the opposite lane that I'm going in, so I don't care as much. I definitely have to lightning this. Hopefully we get a couple shots. Perfect. Okay, that was a great hunter, actually. He wasn't even able to get the queen's ability off. We can RG here. I'll definitely go for a lightning. That mortar can't hit the left tower, so we're perfectly fine. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this has just been... I don't know, this video has just been pretty wild. <laughs> like, I mean, that was a close game. Are we gonna have a flawless video? I don't know. It seems like it. I... Jeez, man. Um, let me know in the comments, when was the last time I've had a video as crazy as this? I mean, this was just insane. That Golem game, the early BM, instant regret, wrong deck, close game there, really intense. Wow, maybe this will be a last game. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how long it is. Maybe I'll go for a sixth game, because technically the, there was a free win that I don't know if I'd really count, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. See you guys when I find the next one. All right, so this might be our final game here. This guy is actually higher than me by a decent amount, so we'll get a good amount of trophies if we win this one. So let's focus up. Um, hopefully it's a uh, you know pretty decent matchup, of course. I guess we'll uh, find out. Okay, he's got an Electro Spirit. Go ahead and log that. So this might actually be RG because most of the time people have Electro Spirit and log, they're typically using, not always, but they typically do have RG just because generally there isn't another deck that has Electro Spirit. So I'm gonna queen here. Gonna go ahead and pop the ability. Kinda sucks I have to use it early, but cause he did go for the Fisherman, I kinda had to. He's gonna go for his own queen. So we might have ourselves a little bit of a mirror match here. This should be interesting. I think that was a pretty horrible RG. Um, in fact, I almost wonder if we won the game. That was an awful RG. Like, that was horrible. I don't know... what he was thinking there. Looks like he is gonna, like, you know, keep his tower, but that was odd. And then I think here we can go Ghost because he's probably, since he doesn't have a Ghost in Cycle, he either needs to... Okay, he decided a Queen. I don't know if I should have done that, but look at how much damage... Yeah, wow, his tower's in... Lightning log range already. Wow, what the heck is going on? I'm I'm just in shock like Cuz we're so high up, but 
our opponents are making some very questionable plays right now, to say the least. So pretty much, if we don't lose the entirety of our tower, we basically win this game. Probably I'm on a lightning if he... Okay, I don't even need to lightning that. That queen just gets pulled. And yeah, we should be fine here unless something crazy happens. Wow. I don't know what that guy was doing at the start. I mean, he almost came back, but... What is happening right now? <laughs> like, um... Top 50, uh, we're one game away from 7,900. Alright, we're gonna play one final game. These games have been... I mean, that one went by quick, and there was one game that was basically a free win, so I'm just gonna go for it. I, I'm just gonna straight up say, um... Not trying to be too toxic, but I don't know what that guy was doing at the start. He played pretty badly, but I'll take it. Made it easier for me. All right, this is our final game no matter what. Um, I mean, obviously that guy made a really good effort to come back. I probably got a little bit too confident, honestly, just based off of the start, and then it ended up being really close, but um, you know, either way, I'll take it. A win's a win, right? It doesn't really matter how close it was or if I almost choked. So this guy looking like he's probably running Pekka. And I don't think... Did he purposely do that? Like, did he want the Magic Archer to take health there? I don't really know. Or uh, take damage, I mean, not health. Guess we could go ahead and pop the ability. He's gonna go... Pekka in the other lane? It's interesting. I think we could probably just pressure here and then fisherman the Pekka to the King Tower because if he decides to and then we pray we don't lose the entirety of our tower here Except we just did. Wow, weird game again. This video has been so weird. I don't know if it's felt weird to you guys, but... These have been some whack games. I, this is a, this, a crazy ladder session in general. I mean, I literally kind of took a break from the game for like two days, and this is what I come back into. I... <laughs> Even if I lose this game, I don't care. This was a weird game. Like, how did we already tower trade? I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I'm just confused. Yeah, we're, we're probably gonna lose. I, you know, I don't know. I don't really care that much. I, uh... It's been a great video. I don't... I don't mind losing one. This... I just, I'm so confused. I can't comprehend what just happened these games. I mean, let me break it down, summary of what just happened, the way I see it at least. Um, in case you guys don't see it this way, here's the way I see it. We got the Golem guy, you know, early BM, instantly regret it, that rarely happens. We got a uh, free win. That's like a 1 in 500 chance. Um, and then right after that, mirror match, but the guy plays like an idiot at the very beginning. I'm kind of, I was kind of laughing at how he was playing. I was kind of surprised. Um, and then now this game, uh, basically, you know, <laughs> just a very strange start to the game. We both like tower trade. I, I don't know, man. Crazy games. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I... I just am not used to these types of games at the top of ladder. I thought it was kind of funny. This was the only normal game, you know, what you'd typically expect, like an intense game that just ended up being kind of close. But, uh, yeah, the rest were kind of weird.
I mean, even this very off meta deck, eh, that was kind of a normal game too, but the rest were pretty weird. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it, it definitely was a fun one. As you can tell, uh, I was in a, you know, pretty good mood this video. I mean, obviously, you know, a large part of it's probably because I pushed up a lot. Um, so it was a successful video. So yeah, we end uh, 60 a third in the world, and what were we at when we were at our season highest? 78, 88, uh, would it be top 50? Can't remember. Uh, yeah, it would in fact be top 50, so I can put that in the thumbnail for that, uh, extra clickbait. So yeah, make sure to like the video if you guys did end up enjoying it, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already, and thanks again, until next time, guys.